Hey everyone, um, we're here this today at the LSU Ag Center's Botanic Gardens talking about winter squash production. So a lot of home gardeners, if you've never grown winter squash before, there's a little bit of a misconception. We think winter squash plant in the winter, but it's not the case. You plant winter squash in the spring and in the summer when you plant summer squash. The difference between a winter squash and a summer squash is gonna be a thicker rind and the ability to store this for many months into the winter months. So this field that you see behind me and all around here, this was actually planted in early August, August 10th. And we did that to try to avoid some of the major diseases that we get in the summertime. And it has proven very effective because we've only seen a little bit of powdery mildew out here so far. So we planted this um, mid-August. Here we are, today is October 14th, I believe. And so we're looking at two months later, having some really nice production from multiple varieties. The reason why Ag Center we do these trials is to give good solid research based information to our home gardeners and to our commercial producers. As we're coming through our field right here you guys are going to notice that these squash vines are really big right. So when we initially planted these we planted them at about three feet apart in the row and our rows are really wide here in this field we skipped two so they're eight feet apart and we did that because we knew these were going to vine out. Now in your home garden you could put your rows a lot closer but we're trying to collect data on this so we really want to make sure that this vine doesn't cross too much with that vine so we don't get our data screwed up and we really are looking at the correct variety but as you're coming back here I want y'all to notice the leaves are big you're gonna see this time of year a few spots on the leaves like you see here we're not gonna worry a little bit too much about these leaf spots this very common to see some raggedy older looking leaves in all your squash whether they're summer squash or winter squash or pumpkins I don't worry about this you know they're so big you guys they're going to get blown around in the wind and they're going to get a lot of just what we call environmental damage so that's not something I'm going to worry about too much you're looking at winter squash the male and the female flowers are separate on the plant so right here if we zoom in you're gonna see a beautiful male flower. So you see how there's no ovary behind that flower blossom. This is where the bee is gonna get pollen from. So here we found a nice female flower for you guys to see the difference. And you can see this flower bud hasn't opened yet, but do you see the ovary tiny behind it? But when we're looking at a female flower, this of course hasn't opened, and here you see the ovary or the baby squash behind it. If the bees come to this female flower at least 10 to 12 times with pollen, this will be fertilized and will swell and make the gourd or the winter squash that we are desiring. So we we need these bees to be moving in the field, right? From male to female flowers and we need them to cross about 10 to 12 times to get the actual squash production like you see here that we've been harvesting in these buckets. So we're not going to spray fungicides or insecticides in the morning or during the day. We're going to do it. I'm going to have to come back out here early evening and spray at that point when the bees are back in their hives. And I'm trying to use very low toxic, low residue type insecticides and fungicides. So anyhow, as you're coming back, you're going to see that the squash vines are just nice and big. Full sun is best. Our, our, shade, our field here has a little bit of shade um, and that's why we do some replications going across the field this way looking at some in the shade and versus some in the open sun here to look at good yield data for us. But full sun, plant in the spring or the um, summer and your winter squash should grow really well. The only other thing you need to do is fertilize them. They love lots of fertilizer so make sure you have purchased your liquid feed or your granular fertilizers and apply that according to the label directions. Winter squash you guys can be grown from south to north Louisiana and east to west. This is actually an excellent crop for you guys to, to choose in, in lieu of pumpkins. So a lot of these squash all of the winter squash are edible. Great for um, soups, bisque, um, just roasting them, doing all kinds of great recipes with them, but they're also beautiful and very decorative.